Hello and welcome back to the home of the Mark II PV router. It's a lovely day on Merseyside, not a cloud in the sky, spring morning, um, a couple of kilowatts of power coming from the panels, uh, 2.14 um, kilowatts there. Um, very little on in the house, so there's quite a lot of surplus power. And if we look at, have a look at the box on the wall, um, this shows that we've put um, one and two thirds kilowatt hours worth of surplus energy into our hot water already. Um, the um, flashing light tells me uh, what proportion of the time the 3 kilowatt immersion heater is on and it looks to be on for at least 50% of the time which is what I would expect. Now this box, um, as most of the boxes, can operate in two modes. This is in anti-flicker mode where there are two energy thresholds and the um, energy level um, ramps between them with hysteresis and the uh, switching rate is um, as slow as the meter will tolerate. If I operate the switch around the side, the mode switch, we're now in normal mode and the light is now flashing on and off quite regularly and very fast, probably too fast for the camera to pick up. But as you can see the, um, the watt hours um, is still continuing to increase. So because the load is still on for the same proportion of the time, albeit on a faster time scale, um, we are still operating within the um, permitted zone of the meter. If I just put this back on again to um, anti-flicker mode. Uh, anti-flicker mode is the uh, one which the meter might have the most difficulty with. Our meter is over here and as you can see the light is on permanently, which probably means that this meter is in its uh, sleep mode. But as long as it's not cycling in synchronism with the um, state of the load, that's the important thing. So we're not being charged. So energy is being diverted. It's not going into the grid, um, and we're certainly not being um, certainly not being charged for it. Now, one thing that might be interesting in this particular box, um, I have a temperature sensor in here based on the latest uh, data log sketch, and if I operate the little button up at the top, we can see the temperature in the box. So the temperature is 23, which is no doubt warmer than the ambient temperature in the garage, but it shows that um, the inside of the box is not overheating. Um, we've got something like 50% um, load, the load is on 50% of the time. The heatsink is, is warm to the touch, but um, and I can feel a little bit of warm air going over the top. Um, but you need a reasonable heatsink with a decent amount of cooling. Um, just to keep the electronics cool, but clearly the inside of the box is um, plenty cooler enough at the moment. So this box is working very nicely. It's exactly the same performance as all um, all boxes built to the Mark II PV router design. Um, if you have any, um, you want to learn more about it, um, there's email addresses on the website, which is mark2pvrouter.co.uk. Thanks for watching.